Welcome to the video on how to manage orders on Amazon. After this video, you will understand how to manage orders when you fulfill your products to buyers. Before explaining the order management process, there are a few important call-outs that we want to mention. 1. The first thing you should know is that using your Seller Central account, you can see, track and process all of your orders, both on the desktop and on mobile. Once you sign in to your Seller Central account, you can see your orders, either in the Orders card available in the Seller Central landing page, which gives you an overview of orders across Europe, or in the Manage Orders page that you will find by hovering over Orders tab from the main menu. If you click on any of the orders shown on the landing page card, you will also be redirected to the Manage Orders page. Are you selling across different Amazon stores? Do not worry, you can manage orders from all stores in the same Manage Orders page. 2. Additionally, when an order is placed for one of your products, you will receive a notification informing you that the order needs to be fulfilled. Define your notifications preferences by going to Settings in the right upper corner and clicking on Notifications Preferences. In this section, you can define how, who and when notifications will be sent. 3. A great customer experience is key to success on Amazon. To do so while fulfilling your orders, do not forget to understand and achieve the customer delivery promise. To find out additional information about the customer delivery promise, visit Seller University. Now let's review the different orders status. Orders on Amazon can have four different status. On Manage Orders page, you will find one section per each of them. Pending Orders it might indicate a buyer's payments issue while completing the order. In some cases, our payment and order detail verification process can potentially extend order processing times for as long as 21 days. Do not ship an order while it is under pending status, even if the buyer contacts you directly. If a buyer contacts you while an order is in pending status, refer them to Amazon Customer Service for more information. Unshipped orders. Once the payment method has been verified, the pending order becomes unshipped. At this point, the order should be prepared and shipped by the seller. On the right-hand side, you will find a list of actions available for each order like Confirm Shipment or Cancel Order buttons. When you receive an unshipped order, it is time to prepare the product, send it to the buyer and confirm it in Seller Central. Once your order is successfully fulfilled and confirmed, it will be categorised as Shipped Order. In this tab, you can review all the orders that have been fulfilled to buyers. You will be able to do some operations like upload the invoice or process a refund if needed. For your information, all shipped orders without invoice provided will automatically appear under the No Invoice Uploaded section. Remember, to keep a good account's health, you need to upload the invoices for the orders completed through Amazon Business or if a specific buyer requests it. If you have enrolled in Amazon's VAT calculation service, we will automatically prepare electronic VAT invoices and make them available for customers to download on a self-service basis. 4. Cancelled orders. It may happen that some issues on the inventory can result in necessary orders cancellations. In that case, you can see all your cancelled orders under its tab. To maintain a good account health on your MFN metrics, only cancel those orders that are strictly necessary due to issues on inventory or undeliverable address. In any of these tabs, you can filter the orders by sales channel, dates, shipping service, business orders, etc. Now that you understand the main concepts on MFN, let's review the order management workflow. Go to Manage Orders page by hovering over Orders in the main menu. Click on Unshipped Orders. 3. Check the product that has been sold and prepare it for the shipment. 4. 
To do so, click on the order ID to have all orders details needed to process the shipment with your carrier. 5. As we previously mentioned, it is important to confirm the order within the provided handling time. If, after receiving an order, the order is not confirmed or cancelled if necessary within this time, it can impact the pre-fulfillment cancel rate. To make sure you meet the handling time, review the purchase, ship by and deliver by dates in the order summary. Make sure to ship the item before the date displayed in this box. 8. Once the product is packaged, click on Confirm Shipment to provide the dispatch information. Introduce the dispatch date and dispatch from the carrier together with the delivery service that you took on that carrier and provide the tracking ID. The tracking ID is the parcel tracking number supplied by the carrier. Amazon customers depend on tracking numbers to find out where their orders are and when they can expect to receive them. The valid tracking rate, VTR, is a performance metric that reflects the percentage of valid tracking numbers provided of all total orders received. To have more information about this metric, visit the VTR video in Seller Central. If your carrier does not provide you this tracking number, evaluate to upgrade the service or change carrier. Once you have introduced your dispatch information, click on Confirm Dispatch. After confirming your order, Amazon will send a shipping confirmation email to the buyer and will update about the shipping information. If you want to contact the buyer of one of your products, you can do so by clicking the blue link next to the buyer name. This feature will allow you to correspond with the customer regarding returns, refunds, feedback request and order information. To provide the invoice to the buyer, click on the button Manage Invoice at the top of the Order Details page. If, due to unexpected issues, it is necessary to cancel an order, go to the Manage Orders page and click on the Cancel Order bottom button available in the Action list at the right side of each order. For your information, buyers can cancel their orders, so if you receive a cancellation request from a buyer's message, to avoid any impact on your metrics, inform the buyer to cancel it by themselves or refer them to Amazon Customer Service. We hope this video on managing orders was helpful. Thank you and happy selling!